And a deadly storm has killed at least 12 people and caused widespread destruction across Greece, Turkey and Bulgaria. One of the worst hit areas is the Greek port city of Volos. Our correspondent Sofia Kliftaki met some of the residents struggling to cope. Weeks after wildfires raged all across the Mediterranean, the Balkans are being battered by a savage storm. In the Greek city of Volos, residents have been without running water and electricity for days. The water level of the river Krafsidnes, which runs through Volos, has risen by three meters. Shops remain closed as the owners try to assess the cost of the deluge. Vasiliki Pharmakis has run her business for 37 years. I believe in a few days we might see whole villages disappear from the map. You know what this means? In one word, catastrophe. It hurts me, it really does. At the foot of Mount Pelion, this road bears testament to the water's force. As I'm standing here, uh, people, uh, the residents of Volos, come here to see the catastrophe, to see the damage that has been caused by the huge strength of the waters that have been carried down from Mount uh, Pelion. It's really unbelievable and it's so different to see it on pictures and, and to be here and, and see it with, uh, with your own eyes. Back in the city center, people are queuing in front of the supermarket to buy drinking water. But the queue is even bigger in front of the city hall, where water bottles are being distributed for free. It's moments uh, I feel I, I need to cry. Uh, people, it's uh, losing uh, houses, business. But right now we're looking only to be next to them to help them. It's a lot of water. I hope uh, God help Volos to stop rain because like you see, now still rain again. Storm Daniel is gradually easing, but for now, the only thing the residents of Volos can do is wait for the winds to subside. A report by Sofia Kleftaki, who joins us now from Athens. Sofia, what's the latest? Nicole, um, as you can see in Athens, it's not raining right now, but it's very, very windy, as you probably uh, can hear, very strong uh, winds. And um, the situation in Volos, but in general, in central Greece, doesn't look uh, good, especially in the cities of Larissa, in the cities of Kardica and Trikala. Whole houses were covered. You, you could just see the roofs. People try to get rescued by, by literally climbing on their roofs. And also throughout the night, uh, the fire forces were operating. Um, when we left Volos le uh, yesterday night, um, we saw the fire forces getting ready by taking out the boat to go and rescue those uh, who were trapped in the houses. And where the boats um, cannot reach the houses, helicopters are uh, operating. Uh, also, the Greek army is joining, troops of the Greek army is joining and police um, is uh, prohibiting the, the transfer, unavoided transfer. So the, the authorities still advise people to avoid um, going around as the streets are full of mud, uh, cars uh, were washed away from the uh, floating. So the rain, it's, it's not raining right now, but uh, the damage and what the rain causes, it's still ongoing. So now the, um, the residents have to be patient and uh, to see when they're going to be rescued. There were more uh, than 5,000 calls for emergency, Nicole, to be rescued from people that were trapped. It's not raining right now, at least not where you are. Um, across the rest of the country, is that rain going to ease today, especially in the most affected areas? In the most affected areas? The rain is going to east today. Um, Storm Daniel is moving away from Greece. And it is slightly raining at, at parts, but uh, not comparable to what was going on uh, the last three days. What are authorities doing to help those affected by the floods, people who, who had to leave their homes, who have no place to go right now? 
Well, the people that had to leave their homes, uh, most of them went to relatives. This is what we've been told when we were in Volos uh, yesterday. So they went to family members that might have electricity or the houses weren't uh, that destroyed or, um, or underwater. And others were uh, evacuated. Uh, the authorities are now uh, planning the rescue operation as uh, the rain uh, stopped and they can uh, look the better uh, strategy also to see where people are trapped because it's uh, difficult, of course, to, to get to those areas that were uh, destructed, I mean, to reach them. That was DW correspondent Sofia Kliftaki in Athens. Thank you for that update. Thank you.